this is sort of a, a, a bit of an old wives' tale, an urban myth that's sort of come about through a, a weird concoction of, of the old myxomatosis story where a virus wiped out Australian rabbits. And because primarily when we've experienced new viruses, what tends to happen is that over the course of a long period of time, we tend to suffer less incidence of, of very severe disease. And we started to see this with COVID. But the difference is that COVID is a disease and SARS-CoV-2 is the virus, okay? And every time we have a disease, it's always a mixture of the pathogen and how inherently virulent that, that virus is or isn't, um, and our, our immune systems and our immunity to it, which of course is trained with vaccines or indeed sometimes, unfortunately, with prior infections. And then of course, there's the environment if we're taking medicines, if we have underlying health conditions, if we have immunodeficiencies for whatever reason, then we're likely to do less well. And of course, age and frailty can play into that as well. So actually, the virus will change depending on what either prevents it or helps it to transmit between people. The virus doesn't care whether or not we get really unwell after it's been into us and got out. It just wants to spread to the next person so it can thrive and amplify and pass on. So you would have heard that some of the, the SARS variants have gone to the upper airway rather than the lower airway. That's a trick it plays to try and pass on much more quickly. But as well, they're also changing to become um, better at, at, at um, adapting away from those initial stages of our immune response. And we can only really judge how virulent the virus is when it infects a population that hasn't seen it. And unfortunately, we're seeing things like that happening now in China. We saw it in Hong Kong last year. We're seeing it in India with a new variant now or recently. So unfortunately, that still means that people get very unwell. And much like measles, if we stop vaccinating, these viruses are still perfectly capable of making us very sick, I'm afraid. But COVID, thanks to vaccines, is reducing the chance of it being severe, but the virus certainly is not.